Chris from Autel Heavy Duty here. We're here today in beautiful Indianapolis, Indiana with our friends at Dickinson Fleet. And today we're here to show you the new improved Autel CV tool. Okay, some of the new features that are in the Autel Maxisys CV that we've implemented within the last six months are gonna be some of your active tests. Some of the tests include uh, after treatment DF, DF system leakage test, the region of course, cylinder cutout test. This is actually going to be the, the automated one. Um, all your DEF pump test, heater test, amongst other things and special functions. Here we have a lot of special functions where we actually go in and you can see the after treatment history. You can do after treatment maintenance. You can actually go in and see the engine torque history. Your engine protection features are in here as well after treatment, maintenance filter installation. So if you're replacing a, a DPF filter, this is where you would actually go to reset that. So uh, for instance, let's go into one right here. Let's go into your after treatment history. And normally in your OE software, what it's gonna show you is the last 10 regens that the vehicle has done. And as you can see here, we actually show that and show the conditions as well. It actually shows all the last 10, just like the OE software. So you can actually go in and do everything that you normally could inside the OE software. Now when you go into features and parameters, this is where you're going to find all your reprogrammable parameters. So how we go about doing that is we go into modify features data. Now it's automatically going to ask if you want to back up your current data, which is always a good idea, especially if uh, that way you don't lose any of your programming. In this particular case, we're not worried about that, so we're just going to say no in this case, and we're going to go in and load everything up. This is where you're going to find all your programmable features on the vehicle, such as road speed, tire revolution programming. Uh, you can even go in and actually reprogram the VIN number for a particular truck. Say you swap engines out, and you need to program that VIN number into that ECM. You can actually do that from here. Uh, you can actually expand all, and you can see all of the programmable functions. Everything that you can program is actually gonna be listed here with a blue pen, okay? So, like for instance, in your serial number, if you wanted to change that, you hit the blue pen, you enter your number, hit okay, and it programs it. It's that simple. And a lot of the stuff that we can do is we can go and change ECM names, codes, uh, idle speeds. You can go in and do after treatment things with it as well, change your DEF heaters, uh, and actually change percentages on it as well. Now, we've actually exited the engine, we, our Cummins engine, and went into our Allison transmission. We have a lot of the same functionality in the Allison transmission as well. As you can see, you have active test, special functions, live data, which actually gives you live streaming data. Uh, you can see the ECU information, trouble codes, and actual freeze frame data as well. We'll go into active test here to see some of the active tests that are actually involved. We can actually go into a clutch test, we can do calculations, uh, we can actually do solenoid tests, we can reset the clutch, uh, adaptive shift parameters we can reset, a lot of the things that the technicians are looking to do nowadays. Um, now, from there we actually go into special function and we can actually reprogram active package, reprogram wire, we can reset the password as well. Now, um, when you go into some of these tests, you can actually go in and set up for a PTO as well. So. Keep that in mind when you're going in and you're actually looking at the Allison that a lot of it is going to be really much just like the OE can do as well. Thank you for watching and if you want more information please feel free to reach out to us at autel.com.